If you want to work in healthcare, you need to consider the majors I'm going to talk about in this video. No one really talks about these because they think you need to be a doctor, nurse, or at least have a master's to have a positive impact on patients' lives and make a lot of money. But that's not true. These majors are great if you're pre-med, but they can also get you high paying jobs without the 10 years of schooling it takes to become a doctor. And you'll still be having a huge impact on the healthcare industry. It's insane how many of you asked for this video, so I really hope you enjoy it. Hey everybody, my name is Hasham Khan and welcome to Income Over Outcome, where I give you college and personal finance tips. Most people who want to work in healthcare default to getting a hard science degree, like bio. But if you watch some of my videos, you know that's not the best idea because you don't learn many practical skills. So you'll probably have to get a grad degree. You're basically spending money on a degree just to get another degree. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you choose one of the majors from this video, you'll learn skills that are essential to healthcare and that's going to put you in a great position to get a job right after undergrad. And if you're like me and you want to work in healthcare but don't necessarily want to touch patients all day, then these majors are perfect for you. The first major I want to talk about is medical informatics. Now this is basically a combination of IT and healthcare. So you would learn things specific to healthcare like telehealth and medical terminology. But then you would mix in things like computer programming and database management. And because of that, you can get a bunch of different types of jobs from managing a hospital's electronic health record to being a computer programmer and even a project manager, all of which have really high pay. One of the most important things people in health informatics do is making sure technology is well equipped for doctors to take care of their patients. For example, if a hospital's electronic health record stops working, that has a direct impact impact on patients' lives, and the person fixing it would probably have a degree in healthcare informatics. You're saving lives by not even touching a patient. Oh, save lives. If you want to get into healthcare informatics, then you should also consider getting a certification. Some schools might actually offer it along with their degree, but getting one will definitely give you an upper hand in finding a job, especially if you're fresh out of college with no real experience. The only downside is that this is an up and coming field, so not a ton of colleges offer a bachelor's degree in healthcare informatics. There are some really good master's programs out there though. The next two majors I'm going to talk about are way easier to find and they're just as good as healthcare informatics. Now I'm going to talk about the major I had in college, health information management or HIM. Personally, I think this is one of the best healthcare degrees out there because it gives you a real deep knowledge of the healthcare industry, but it also gives you really good business skills that you could use outside of healthcare if you wanted to. The main purpose of him is to make sure healthcare data is kept safe and it's being used properly. But the degree could be used for way more than that because you touch on every single aspect of healthcare. In addition to taking pre-med courses, which I talk about in this video, you learn about healthcare law, quality improvement, billing, finance, and how health insurance works, which could be very confusing. You basically learn more in four years than doctors do in 10 years about how the healthcare industry operates. And that makes this degree extremely valuable. Man's not dumb. Okay. Man is not dumb. Yeah. Health information management majors are also some of the best people I've met on the planet, right behind those of you who hit that like button and notification bell. Because of its name, a lot of people think that him involves super technical stuff like programming, but that's more healthcare informatics. The most technical we got in my school was learning how to build a database and that's not that complicated. But if I'm being real with you, not all of the classes are fun to sit through. My least favorite class involved medical coding, which has nothing to do with computers. It's basically how hospitals bill insurance companies, but the process is so tedious and I absolutely dreaded those classes. But a lot of people liked it, so it really just depends on what you're interested in. All of the healthcare business classes though, I absolutely loved. One of the most common jobs you can get with a HIM degree is becoming a health information manager, which means you would be leading a hospital's coding department or billing department. But because the field is so broad now, there's so much more you could do. You could become a compliance officer for the government, data analyst or operations analyst for a hospital, or even go into healthcare consulting like I did. The list really goes on and on. 
so many options. Now, if you're interested in this, it's really important that you join a program that's accredited. That means that your school follows specific guidelines and coursework to make sure you're learning everything you need to learn. I'll link a list of accredited schools in the description so you can check it out. Now, as part of the degree, you're also going to become certified as a registered health information administrator, and that will really help you stand out against other people when you're applying to hospitals. And it's a huge part of why I think this degree is super practical. Another reason I like this degree so much is because demand for people in him and other healthcare administrative roles is growing like crazy at 32% and you can easily make over a hundred thousand dollars. Tell them to bring me my money. Up next, we have healthcare administration. Now this is very similar to him, but it's more broad. You would take all the same classes as someone with a him degree, like accounting, economics, healthcare law, things like that. But you won't have to take all the technical stuff like medical coding and all the stuff about data. And you also won't get your certification, which is why I think healthcare information management is a little bit better than healthcare administration. You would still be an expert in how the healthcare industry works, which is why this is still one of the best degrees out there. And the upside is that healthcare administration is way more common than the other two degrees on this list because it's offered at over 400 colleges. You can't become a health information manager because that requires your RHIA. Oh really? Wow. Well, that's unfortunate. But you could basically take any other role in healthcare that doesn't require a certification. Some common jobs people get with a health administration degree are things like managing a private practice, working at a hospital as a financial analyst, or even working for pharmaceutical and insurance companies. You could even lobby for the healthcare industry in the government. And that's huge. In 2019, $594 million was spent by the healthcare industry lobbying. Just like him, demand and pay are both high. Now whether you choose to study health information management or healthcare administration probably just comes down to what your school offers. I would say if you have the choice between the two, choose health information management because you can get the same jobs as somebody with a healthcare administration degree plus more. But you can't really go wrong either way because you would still be working in the fastest growing industry in the world. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button and notification bell. I'll see you in my next video, but until then, take care.